Hey girls, it's Grace, and I'm going to show you what's in my special bag, if you know what I mean. Okay, so, first off, oh, and this is also about what I think you should have in there. Okay, so it's this little bag, and first of all, I think your bag should be small, like this, and convertible, so you can put it in your backpack, or in your purse, or if this is your purse, I don't know, uh, how big you like your purse is, that's a whole nother thing. Um, but this is my little compartment, a little strap for it. And if your friend needs, you know, a little special thing, you can just slide it to them during class or in the hallways, and no one will even know what's in there. So, first of all, and I, oh, second of all, or whatever, <laughs> I also think it should have, like, a Velcro or a zipper so nothing falls out of it, or if there was a hole in it, yikes, that would not be good. So, this is a Velcro, and I'm just going to jump out what's in here. I should probably put more things in there, I don't know. But yeah, this is the whole entire thing. It's pretty deep and it has a little, a little zip compartment for anything else I need. But basically, I have pads, of course. Um, these are like thin liners for light bulbs since I have not been getting a group exactly, but I'm about to very soon. Um, and it doesn't, it's not very to the point where it's a heavy flow yet. And especially small because you know I'm only 12 and I don't really need big ones super ones yet and um, these are Tampax Pearl and these are best instead of the regular Tampax especially because they got little grippies and they're a lot more colorful and so on and so on and you should always 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 have hand sanitizer in your bag for before and after usage even though there's like um even though if you're in the stall if you're at home I mean, you know, you're not going to need this if you're at home like your bag because you already have stuff at your house. But this is for, like, when you're out at school or if you're, like, I don't know, at a restaurant or something. Uh, definitely have this in there because you want to make sure to keep sanitary when you're dealing with things like this. So wash always before, after, you know, do what you need so you got hand sanitizer in there. This is basically what I got because that bag is specifically just for that kind of stuff. And the rest of my purse will have things like lip glosses and my phone and everything like that. And money, you know, the basic things that you keep in a purse. But that's just a secret compartment for things like that. It used to be a really big bag, but that took up way too much space in my bag. So yeah, um, I hope this was helpful so you know what to keep in there. Um, off the top of my head, I can't really think of much other things that you should keep in there. That's, base, that's the basics. If you really want, if your thing is really big, maybe you want to keep another pair of panties in there. If it's really big, because if you do have any leakage, then it's going to affect your whole underwear situation, and that will not be fun. So I was suggesting that if you have a bigger bag, and if you have problems with it leaking, and if you do, you should probably start using a larger tampon or um, a pad that's prepared for heavier flows. Flows. <laughs> or less kind of fat. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my videos. And yeah, hope this was helpful. Bye.